Hi everyone, I hope you can see this because um, <clears throat> you know after doing this camera today sorry this one, um, I'm trying to get the camera to work it's just not playing game at all I don't want it to be blurred hopefully it's not can you see that, is it clear? can't see with my eyesight <laughs> but um, what I've done is I've decided to make my own so that was the balsa box, but you can make your own. And the way I've done it is, um, I've done it, you to ignore that because I was putting it on the front again and I changed my mind. I will clean all that off because I'm going to make this into a camera. Um, I have put the three uh, magnets in and it just clips shut like that. Okay. Uh, and my camera's going to be like that. This is the top, and that's the bottom section. And don't worry about that, it, it's just a mock-up this, but I'm going to make it work into something, into a camera. And what I've done is I've taken a piece of chipboard, and I actually cut, I drew around that section. But if you can't do that, then there's an easier way of doing it, and I'm going to show you how. Uh, you need to do a rectangle, okay? So let's do the width of my ruler. So you can actually make these cameras as big as you want or as little as you want. Okay, we'll just cut this up. Wrong scissors, but I'm just doing it for now to show you how to make your own. And don't forget, you have to do this is the um, craft card, and it's only an A4 size, so you can't do it too big unless you join your craft card. And cameras are all different sizes and shapes anyway. Sorry, but these are the wrong scissors. Okay, just, right, I've done it. Just pretend I've got it right. Now, what you do then is take a circle. And I'm just doing my circle in the corner. So that corner, that edge meets that edge. All right. And then we'll do it the other way. So that that edge meets that one and that's giving you that shape and all you do is round that off and as long as both ends match you'll be fine I did this on a bigger chip board actually and I didn't have to do this uh, you know chopping that bit off as long as your um, chip board is the same width both ends I'll just round off a little bit more, like that, and then just cut. And that gives you, if you haven't got a balsa box, that's what I'm saying, um, then you can make your own. Just try and smooth them out you know just smooth it out a bit like that so you haven't got any points a little bit still it's hard to cut with these scissors I'll try tins Okie dokie, so we've got that. That looks roughly the same. And then what you do is, you take your craft card, which can be as... I've done mine pretty wide, because I'm going to have the bits on the front and that. Okay. <laughs> and it can be tricky, but measure out 10 centimetres on one end. Sorry, but I'm trying to fit it all in. So measure out just 10 centimetres on that end and of course 10 centimetres on there and just draw yourself a line and then what you're going to do is you glue in fact glue the edge of the paper just so much to start with okay just enough 
to fix this and where this starts pop your chipboard on there like that and just run your finger down and then press it in like that and then you have to do the same with the other side and that's why you've got to measure it just so that that starts there if you measure this piece measure this before you cut it right if you I don't know or whatever that is between there and there make sure that's same on both sides well you only need it on one side to start with to be honest um, just so that that matches that line with that 10 centimeters there and as long as you get that right then you're fine and then what you do is you glue it round and round like that it is a bit tricky now to get the paper to actually the card to fold properly I got hold of the paper and I ran it down the edge of the table you know over the edge of the table and it made it smoother it made it more flexible but then what you do is you take this as far as you want it and this I also did I just used that as a guide like that like that and then I just cut those sections off because that's the flap okay so you get this which is your piece on when you glue that on glue the other side on at the same time if you've got this flexible it won't crease like mine's done that hasn't creased um, and then that's your top that goes over and I've done this a little bit big because you have, your card has to match that of course doesn't it so although mine's a little bit big there right if I'd have made it a little bit smaller this is the size I'll measure this for you then you can measure it yourselves um, this has to be 10 centimeters long so the side the top and the bottom has to be 10 centimeters long any bigger than that and you're not going to get a decent flap and then you measure it 10 centimeters in so 10 centimeter long piece and a 10 centimeter from the edge to there and then that attaches and then uh, because this one's not this is longer than 10 centimeters that's 12 so that was too long but that's what that's how you do it two of those at 10 centimeters you measure inwards on one side uh, on both sides 10 centimeters and then you attach that to that glue the card it's easier um, and then when you've got those two just slowly but surely Roll, uh, put your glue along the edge and bit by bit hold it in and hold it in and hold it in until you've got that where you want it and then when you bring that flap over see like that um, it just clips shut and that's how you do it so I hope that's helped but like I say if it's cardstock just take that off all you do is say that's the edge of the table and run it down like that just run it back and forth like that so I'm just going to do mine it breaks up the fibre and curves it for you see like that and now that would quite easily bend around no problem so you need a piece that's an A4 size you uh, take the corners off one end you measure 10 centimeters from the other end on both sides you cut this at 10 centimeters and then you attach where measure it measure it out so it's same and then you attach that put your glue on here on the card sit it ready turn it up press down wait till it's stuck do the other side and then slowly do this one and I would glue the card rather than the chipboard and just work your way around until you've got that and then you can put your magnets in or however you're going to fasten it and you've made yourself a camera and uh, you don't need to buy a wooden one and everybody has chipboard and card make a patterned one 
Hope that helps. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye for now. Hi everyone. Now, I haven't copied anyone, but I have seen several of these cameras. Uh, mine seems to be leaning at the moment because I've got Velcro on it. But I have seen several of the cameras uh, being made by various people. Um, that's over the last few weeks when I've caught an odd video. Uh, when I saw this kind of balsa box, I wanted to give it a go as well. Um, so I, all I can say is that all the ladies have inspired me that I've seen that's made these cameras. So this one, and I haven't seen one like this one because mine opens at the front and it's just by Velcro there. So I can slot in a mini or whatever I want to do with it. Uh, and what I did, I painted the whole lot cream. I then added the lace, the vintage lace. This is a watch part uh, without numbers on that I used for the eyepiece. Um, the, the handle off the box I've actually used at the top here with a large pearl on it. This is one of those little uh, metal buttons to look like a, you know, the what you click when you're taking your photograph. That's like a winder. Um, and I just cut a piece of tubing. It does look like it's leaning, and it is leaning to one side. It's because this, is ra see how it's raised up? So it's pushing the lens to one side. It needs to be back there. So unfortunately, that didn't turn out like I thought, but I'm not bothered. Um, I used the hitch fastener. They're not Tim Holtz. These are the ones I bought off eBay. I know everybody buys Tim Holtz, but they're too expensive, so I buy them off eBay. Um, let me just see. What I've done with it, I put a bit of chain on it, a little fancy chain, and added some... I've made all of these. Just made these little charms. Oh, that one's uh, just a bit of bling, and that one's a little circle of bling. Um, added the chain onto the front of this. Now, this is one of the original holes that was for the box. So the flower hides the other one. And then this one I just thought, well, I'll just use that, which will hold the chain. I cut this out of a piece of tubing, like a kitchen roll tubing. Uh, painted it. But what I did with the picture, because it has a picture inside, and what I've done with that, uh, there's a bottle cap in the bottom. So what I did, I glued the picture to the bottle cap, and then glued the bottle cap to the, to the balsa box in the centre. Uh, and then this is just a piece of acetate glued onto the front of the uh, the roll. Um, and then just put the beading on top of that. Now, if I was doing it again, I would slightly do it differently. Um, because I had stopped that leaning. So I'm very conscious of that leaning. But it is because of that. It's pushing it to the left. But I do like it that it opens that way. Because I haven't seen one open like that. Um, so there you go. And that's my little camera. Just added a little flower arrangement with the cream leaves. I haven't had to paint those. I found some cream ones. And like I say, there's the... Uh, oops. There's the... Um, little chain. With the charms on. Um, and I like that. So I just thought, yeah, cute little thing to make. Hi everyone, right now I'm going to show you how to make that uh, shabby sheet camera uh, and what you're going to need, hopefully this is going to be still, uh, you know, level um, a selection of laces which I've got out, some beaded string, some flowers, some trimmings, bit of chain paint, some appliques, might use them, might not, they were sent yesterday, they're absolutely gorgeous and then you're going to need um, a tube uh, now I've got a fairly thick one that was um, inside, I'm uh, sorry, that was covered with the uh, kitchen roll. So I've just cut a piece off. And you need one off about two inches. Um, and if you have a bit of scourer, just a scouring pad, you don't need sandpaper. It's per perfectly good just to sort the edges out. And then if you have any sticking up like that bit there, just chop that away and uh, you can just press that back down and it'll be fine. I've got a picture as well, some paint brushes obviously because we're going to paint the box, 
Um, and right now what I'm going to do is just go through the process. Right, we've got everything that we need. Uh, and I'm going to do the picture first. So I hope you can see. Take the tube, place it over the picture, like that, and draw on the outside of the tube. And that way when you fit it on, it will fit perfect. And you have a little bit of room to play with then. So just discard that bit, and that is what fits on the inside like that. Uh, you know, anything, what we're going to do is glue that on now. Um, if my glue gun's working, it'll be just fine. So fix that to your holder. Okay, turn it upside down, don't get to do it the right way. And pop that on and just squash that down don't worry about any excess glue or paper and that's ready to work you know put on your project yeah that's glued down and then just trim it all off the picture's fairly central I mean I'm just showing you how to do this you can do what you like with it okay so that's fine now what we need is a piece of acetate on the top sorry I forgot to get that I get all my acetate from the packaging that I, uh, if I buy anything in, and um, it's just easier <laughs> to do that. I'm just going to piece in there, wipe that off, pop that onto the line I've just made so it gives you a rough idea where it is, like that, and we can clean all that up later, it's the glue, and then like you say, just Trim that around the edge when it's dried. I'm doing things like that. You watch my videos. Now I'm just going to give this a quick polish up with a cloth just to get rid of those marks. That was off the glue. Oh, that's it, it's done it. Okie dokie. Because on there you're going to put some, no it is marked that isn't it, maybe that's, oh I don't think I did that, oh well it's done now so it doesn't matter, but there you go, that's your tube all ready to go on the front. Now what we need to do is to take this off, which I just used a little screwdriver and, and that and removed that, we don't need that one back on. Now, somebody did suggest to use um, a magnet. It might have laid flatter, and I'm going to do that today. Um, unfortunately, yesterday I was so tired, and uh, I never even gave it a thought, to be honest. So they fit like that. And what I'm going to do is just glue the magnet just underneath here like that and I've kept the pieces together because now I want as soon as that's dried take that piece off and that's where it needs to be see so when I shut that what I need to do now is to make sure that that is perfectly shut give that chance to dry Okay, hopefully, it's not dry yet. There, like that, see? Take off the excess around the edge. It doesn't really matter, you're going to paint it anyway. Um, any on there. We need to take this off as well. So we can just undo that. Like that. This glue strands drives me nuts. Ah! 
<laughs> but there you go. Yes, and it does lay flatter. But it will. It's going to have some material on as well. So like that. So thank you for the idea, uh, for the little tip. And um, I should have thought about it myself. I normally think of things like this, but like I say, busy yesterday. Brilliant tip, though. Look. So that's the front of our camera, and then what happens is this. I'm going to have mine opening that way. That goes on there, and you can hide that little hole. So we're going to pop that on there, and you're just gluing it on. So make sure you do it round the edge. Now I'm not sure if my glue gun will see. The glue sticks are driving me insane. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is. <laughs> oh dear. It, I don't know what it is. This new. I'm going to go back to the old glue gun, but I, the nib's gone in, and I need a nib to work with. <sighs> I'm wasting so much glue. It's unbelievable. And I can't stand the glue strands. <laughs> okay, let's get going. So what you need to do is to pop on the glue on the edge. Like that. And we can do a couple of bits in the middle. So we need to get this where we want it. Make sure the picture's straight. Like that. And so you've got that section like that. I'm not quite sure if that's even, but it'll do. Okay. And then what we need to do um, is to start covering it. Now, I haven't, with the material I'm using, I don't need to put the material underneath this. Uh, I didn't want to do that. And I, I have this one that um, I can cut around. So, and I, I only want it up to here. I don't want this bulkiness. Um, so what I'm going to do is start, I'll just leave that like that and then I will trim that off, you see, but we need to paint it, okay, now it all gets painted, right, let's just give this a bit of a shake. Right, sorry about that. Uh, everything cut out for some reason. Now what I've done is I've attached the chain onto that. And that just looks like it's part of the camera. Uh, and now what I've got to do is attach the chain to this. So what I did, I wrapped it around and I used um, one of these little... I'm not going to find the opening there. <laughs> So, <clears throat> excuse me, I just did mine like that and then took my um, see, I just hooked it on like that, and that made that long enough for me to hang the charms from that. Um, so, what I've got to do now is I'm going to sort out all the trimmings around here. So, I did put some pearl. Um, I don't have any cream flat back left, but I do have white, so I'm going to use white trimming. Let me just sort out that lace there.
get some leaves. And these are leaves that were cut off a doily. Well, they made up the doily and I cut them to make them look like leaves. So what I'm going to do is just fit them slightly there underneath. One on that side. And I don't mind them hanging over whatsoever because um, I'm now going to attach some of these little pretty flowers here. And we just surround the area like that. So the leaves don't look as big anyway. Do a couple more. Let's do that. Put one in there. And then I can attach one in there like that. Okay, like that. I also have a flower that I'm going to put on this side. Maybe that's a bit big, so I'll just use these little ones. I have to use what flowers I've got in, and I'm getting short of them, so. I think I need to make another order. Just gonna pop the flower like that. Um, now, on the back of the camera, I need to add, you know, the bit you look through. And what I've got here, I've got a couple of these. Oh no, that's for the top. Uh, I've got this little disc. It's just a blank disc. So I'm just gonna put that on. Um, I'm not gonna fuss about it or anything just pop it on like that <laughs> it's just for decoration basically and on here you know you can have a little button or something um, I've got this one it doesn't have to be silver it doesn't have to be anything yet be what you want and I like that um, and now I'm going to put some charms on the chain. So I've just got a wing that I can. Um... Oh, that glue stuff gets everywhere. It, it literally drives me insane. So you'll have to excuse me if I'm having a whinge. <laughs> There's a little wing. Um, I always have to have something with a bit of bling in it. So I've made one of these again. And I have that where I can see it. I don't know what that is on the camera. That's that one. Um, I'm going to put another one on. Oh, let's have the charms on. No, can't put that one on. There's no blooming hole in it, silly hole. <laughs> I've got a crack. Oh, I've got a little blingy here. That'll do. Another bling. Let's have a look. There's some dangling just there. Hmm. 
Oh. Did it work? Oh, I can't see. Probably not. Oh, that's it. I'm going to have one more. I've got this little crown. I wanted to put on this camera. the little bits that I've got on that I want on there dangly bit there not happy with that I'm just wondering if one of the bigger uh, would be stronger to hold that I'm going to try it anyway I think let me just have a look that's Let me just see. If I attach that in there, no, it, it wouldn't make any difference. No, it needs to be under there, I think. That's not making any difference, but that'll do. Um, have we got everything on it? <coughs> oh, I want something on this side, didn't I? Well, what I've got here is just a little butterfly that I thought about putting just on there like that and there you go that's the camera which opens up like that yeah because it's painted it's uh, not laying flat anyway shame that but never mind I might it would mean putting, you know, I might need to put more than one on, might I? I'm going to try that because I don't like the way that it's not up, uh, closing properly. Um, I just don't like it at all. What I'm going to do is take another couple of these and I'll just have to glue them on as they are. So... Oh, these fidgety little things, look. I'll put it on there first. Methinks. I'll probably put it on the wrong way around. Right, that's it. So I do that. It just means you're going to see them, but I can't help that. Make sure I get it the right way around. Like that. And then... Close it up, girl. And leave that to set. It might help. <coughs> oh. uh, three is better than one, I think.
so let's have a look that should be ready yeah um unfortunately i can't do anything else about that um i would have to try and sort that out and eat i might be able to pull that back and put it underneath but for now that's it that's the camera that's how you do it that's how i've done mine um yeah they're quite nice aren't they i hope that's helped you anyway it's given you an idea you can take it along and do what you like with it thanks for watching i'll speak to you soon take care bye bye for now